but uh, good afternoon, Mr. Drummond. This surface is pure shite, let me tell you. Glad to see you got a sense of humor. A man walks in, kills 12 people, and you want an audience. I don't want an audience. I just want some decent manners. Fuck you! You're lucky I'm all fucking hanging you for what you did. Okay, Harry, we just want to ask one question. So without the theatrics, where is Susie McDonough's body? I ask again, where is Susie McDonough's... I have idea. I'm just trying to remember where I left her. You broke my concentration, Copper. No games, you sick bastard. Where's the girl? What girl? There are a lot of girls in Edinburgh. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. Don't toy me, you freak! Where the fuck is Susan McDonough? Answer me, you fucking animal! I did answer, and now you're screaming at me. I don't feel like answering no more. I'd rather talk to your friends than have you continue spitting at me. <clears throat> Look, Harry, I'll be frank. You're dead. There's nothing we can do about that. And before you hang and your eternal soul burns in hell, we just want you to tell us where the girl is, okay? That's all we want. We want to do our jobs and help the family. Okay, they just want to say goodbye. You're denying people the right, good people, the fundamental right to say goodbye. So if you had a heart, if you had a fucking heart, you would tell us where she is. So please. No. I beg your pardon? No. Why should I? So the McDonald's can say goodbye to one child, so you can go home and sleep easy? Don't make me laugh. We are done, regardless. World War III could break out at any moment, and you're concerned about one person. I saved her. I saved all of them. These miserable little pig dogs walking among cursed cattle, all waiting for the bombs to drop and waiting for the reds to strike. They were chosen by me and me alone. At random, yes, but chosen nonetheless and are thankful that I destroyed and ripped apart their vessels. You see, the soul of a champion is pure when they are put through hell. And if you make it, your soul rises as pure, luminous gold. I've seen them, and they were Beautiful. Beautiful and pure. Just like angels. Just like angels. I'm glad you can see the art in your crimes here, but uh you're starting to piss us off a little bit a little bit here because you're you're avoiding the fucking question. Where is Susie McDonough? But then they come over there and crack their fucking skull open to find out. Running out of time, Harry. For God's sakes, tell us. Tell us, cunt! Easy, big man. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. <sighs> uh, is this something to fucking joke to you? You're gonna die. And you're, and you're sitting there acting like, act, acting all high and mighty. Like you're in control. I am in control, Ray. I'm calling the shots here, and I have you two in the palm of my hand. I know where that McDonough girl is, and you think you're in control? Fuck off. I hold the answer, and if I want, I can take that to my grave. Or I come over there and break your hand and make you squeal. How about that? Or I tell you nothing if you do so. How about that? Tell me, Ray, why do you care? 
What? Why do you care? Because it's your job? No. I have a theory. Tell me if I'm wrong, sir. I read about that accident back in 58, where your little girl was run down by a drunkard? Yeah, that's it. So, you failed to save one. Now, you're trying to save a stranger to compensate because you failed as a father. Fuck! I'm gonna fucking kill you! I'm gonna let that fucking go on you cunt! Fuck you! Hold you! Hold you! Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm alive. He's about to be hanged in a minute and you've got nothing. Now piss that away, okay? What are you saying? 